turn that way, drop it down a bit, straighten it up. Perfect. Hey, how do you like me now, GW? Hey, what are you at? My name is Troy and welcome back to Facility D20. This is going to be a fun video because I found a posable printable Space Marine STL file. And it's the first time ever that I tried to do my own support to stuff. I just put it on the printer. Let's see if this thing works out. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, I'm going to show you how I'm hoping to do it because I don't know if it's going to work. So if you throw this thing in Blender, you can see it's got a few parts going on. There's something a bit weird going on with the backpack. It's attached to the chest for some reason. Uh, but once you go into the pose mode, you can see the bones here. So all you got to do really is grab these bones and use the rotate tool to start spinning them around in whatever direction you want. Uh, and just take notice of the X, Y, or Z. And you can even adjust like the hip plates and the shoulder pads and the elbow pads and everything. So basically the idea here, I just wanted to do something simple to try this out for the first time. So I just wanted to make them stepping forward and holding the bolter down. So guys, what do you think about this? I know there's a, a few different trains of thought here. Some people like really hate the fact that you can 3D print Space Marines and stuff and thinks it's destroying this hobby and some people thinks it's great. Uh, me, I think is basically unstoppable at this point. If I was GW, I think I'd seriously consider either running my own line of printers or resin and filament and stuff like that, even uh, making my own STL files and probably even pre-supporting and, and selling them. Maybe doing something like a scratch off card or something like that you can just buy in the GW store per Space Marine. Uh, I think it's the future. I think GW is probably going to go that way eventually. I don't think it's going to eliminate their mass production, but I feel like it's probably going to happen in the future. So guys, this fall, you can find this fall if you Google it. I'm not going to link it below, but uh, it's, it's really cool. It's really fun to just pose this thing any way you want. And I practiced a few times before I started this video just to see how this thing was working. And if you take your time, uh, you can spin it around and get it the way you want it. You can even see like the bones and the fingers are posable. So you can even get that grip on the pistol here. So you just got to take your time. Um, if you hold down shift, you can select multiple bones and rotate them all one time. You can see here I had to fix up the elbow pad. And I decided to take the heads in the backpack and the bolter off of them because I just thought it'd be easier to support if I printed them separately. But you can see here that backpack was duplicated and I couldn't get it off his chest. So I'm not the best with Blender and the only way I really know how to do something like this is to do what's called a Boolean modifier uh, subtract. So basically I made a cube, scaled it up, moved it around, rotated it, tried to get it to fit over the backpack and just the backpack only. So you can see here when I go into the wireframe mode that I'm just going to get the backpack. So once I kind of got that situated, I just done a boolean modifier difference and select the cube and hit apply. And then boom, the backpack's gone off his back. Now guys, it's going to get a bit squirrely here because I rendered this video like super fast speed, but I'm going to show you how I supported it and how I found the islands. Uh, so this Space Marine had a rough day and I had to kick her back 25 degrees and that's so I could help hide supports on their, uh, some of the nooks and crannies of this guy. Uh, there's no real easy or fast way to do this until you get good at it. This is literally the first time I tried to support a mini. I watched a few tutorials online. So what I did is I started with some heavy and medium supports and really loaded up the feet. And I found the easiest way for me to do this was to start at the bottom and scroll up the layer lines and then start to look for islands. And there's two ways you can look for islands. You can wait till the, the circle that you see there goes dark red like right there in his crotch and place an island. Um, so I do a combination of that way but I also found it easy or if I just kind of like scroll up the mini and start to look for islands that way. So you can see here like I got one there along the hip plates. Uh, up here you can see there's three in a row, one, two, three. I mostly used um, light supports at this, at this really. So you can see here there's some more islands just hanging in midair. You got to make sure you get those. I think that these gray dots are showing you islands basically at a cura because I've noticed a lot of times when I was looking for islands, those gray dots pretty much were bang on them. So I think that's that what that is. 
You can also delete supports that you don't want. You can drag them around and move them and edit them. Kira is really, really good for supports in my opinion. Uh, that's why I'm trying to use it a lot. And you can see here, yeah, I see those islands that are just printing in midair. You want to make sure you get those. Uh, here you can see I'm dragging around some of the supports. And when it's done, I put it in a, um, I sliced it. I changed my settings a little bit. And then I put it in a photon validator program, which is what you see here. Uh, bear with me for a second here. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail how to use this. If you guys are interested, comment below and let me know. And I can make a video when I get a little better at that program. But essentially what this does is it shows you where the islands are. So the crosshairs on the photon valor, validator, the red crosshairs will show you where an island is. Then you have to go back in. Uh, it'll tell you the layer line. You find that layer and then you look for your island. So right there, bang, it is right there. So I put one there. So I went back and forth. And at the end of the day, I think I had 56 islands that I had on support it. Uh, and it took me about another half hour to get these islands after the photon validator. Once it was done, I, I saved them all as STLs and then I loaded them all back in Cura and I sliced them up and called them Space Marine Walking 1, basically. And it's going to cost me 29 cents. We're going to be rocking the photopolymer gray resin. We want to make sure we get this thing a nice good shake up before we put it in the photon here. And this is the part that I hate. I really hope that this um, print comes out after all my support settings. Let's go ahead and load some resin in and uh, get this print started. You want to be careful not to overfill this thing. Just fill it up there it starts to taper off in the vat. Perfect. So guys, go ahead and subscribe. I'm really trying to push hard to see if I can get the 1,500 subscribers by the by the summer. They are my space marines, and they shall know no fear. And here we go. It's pretty much finished. Coming up out of there like the Terminator went down. Moment of truth. I'm excited to see if this thing turned out. It looks pretty good, but you can never really tell fully. I see fingers. I see a scope on a gun. The head, the backpack. It looks pretty good from here. Let's get it cleaned up and see. So this thing popped off the build plate pretty nice it was there were no failures at all like this printed up really well like and all my supports worked out great they pulled off fairly easy um, I think when I get better at supports I'll try to keep a little further away from the model a little further away from each other uh, but their connection points uh, didn't leave any indentations or dents in the model and it pulled off really nice I got the settings uh, online they're not the, they're not the standard settings but they work out really nice um, I like to pull apart these things when it's before it's washed and cured because it just helps the washing pro process. If you run this under hot water, you can get it off a little easier. Then it was time to throw it in my Anycubic Photon Wash and Cure Station. I'm using Simple Green in this and I found with Simple Green I kind of got to wash it for twice the amount of time as I would alcohol, so I'm washing this one at 21 minutes. Once it was done, it was time to cure it. So far, I found about seven minutes works well for me in this machine for minutes. And then it was time to take off a few of the stubborn support settings. I think from here on out, I'm going to flatten out the feet and take the grips off. That was definitely giving me the most trouble when supporting. And I have one support that was a little too close to the inner thigh, but it just cleaned it off with a knife and you'll never know it was ever there. So then it was time to glue it together, so a little bit of Gorilla Glue, and I popped on the backpack, the helmet. I had a couple of spare bases kicking around, so I just used a standard base and, um, and stuck them on here. So you can see like the detail on this Mini Man is excellent, like it's, you can barely distinguish it here from one of the intercessors uh, that came with Indominus. If, uh, if these were primed up, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Right now, that intercessor is a little darker color, so the camera's picking it up a little bit better. 
But man, at the end of the day, it came out like really, really well. I'm super happy with it. I can't wait to get like 10 man squad of these printed up and see if I can not uh, run them off for a bit of fun here. Of course, I'm still gonna buy a bunch of DGW stuff, but it's cool just to have that option. I'm gonna print up some fun poses too, I think, for a laugh. So yeah, you can see it here. It, it re really turned out good. Guys, go ahead, smash subscribe, check out some more videos on my channel. I'd love to have you guys stick around, push the 1500. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm definitely going to catch you on the next one.